Castleman's disease has filled me with fear, hopelessness. I think all I heard was rare, no cure. It makes you feel as if no one knows what you're going through and you're totally alone in your fight. I was misdiagnosed with a sinus infection and some kidney issues and lymphoma. Next thing you know, the next morning they said, uh, we think you have lymphoma cancer. At one time I heard lymphoma. At one time I heard leukemia. And it was a very, very frustrating time. As like many of you, the diagnosis took about 60 days. It took about a month for them to diagnose me because the doctors did not know much about the disease. It took a full year, actually over a year, to get diagnosed in and out of the hospital. Doctors were treating me as if it was the flu, and we couldn't figure out what the problem was. I had no idea what it was. I thought it, it felt like a flu. The first diagnosis was lymphoma. But I noticed uh, symptoms way before I uh, originally got diagnosed. I think I had about eight ER visits. And then I went to the ER, and they told me I had acute renal failure. I went to the hospital. They got me in the back and they found out I had fluid, you know what I'm saying, around all my organs. It was the fluid around the heart. I had a large spleen at first and liver. I mean, it was one of the most painful things I've ever had. I felt like I needed to do something to save my own life because I wasn't sure anyone else would. Every time I went to the ER, they'd run tests, everything came back negative. Everything came back negative, negative, negative. We did a needle biopsy, which came back inconclusive. We know something it, it, he has is rare, but we don't know what it is. It was like, throw a bunch of chemo at this and see if that does the trick. I, I was like having a plan B, I'm a plan 